Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokendra Singh and today we are going to discuss about the very powerful and versatile editor which is known as Vim. So V I M Vim. So what does it mean? Basically Vim means virtual interface improved. So VI has been enhanced from VI command. VI means virtual interface. This was initially launched in RHL 4 or somewhere. So when we are talking about Vim, so what does it do? So if you want to open any new file, so it, it can create a new file or if you want to open any existing file, so it can open that file for editing or doing modifications for you. If you are quite new to VI and VIM, so let us try to understand that VIM is the command alias for VI command. But make sure that there is a particular file where it is mentioned that what sort of uh, changes has to be done. So there is a file, let me show you. VIM slash etc profile.d then VIM.sh. This is file. Here it is written that if user ID is less than or equal to 200, then there should uh, there should not be done anything. It means VI and VIM both are going to be different command. But if this is more than 200 and 200 plus or more than 200, so VI will create an alias with VIM. Whether all the users who have user ID more than 200 whose user ID is greater than 200 will have VIM and VI equally used. So it means this is based on this alias. Fine. So now when you are talking about Vim, so there are three different versions of Vim. So let me write here. First of all, VIM minimal. Let me write here first. It means VIM minimal. VIM minimal is the first one. Second one is VIM. It means VIM enhanced. And third one is VIM with GY. It means VIM hyphen X 11. So this is this provides you GVIM command. The command is G. Vim. It means graphical Vim editor, graphical uh, visual interface is a particular command which you get. So if you want to check that what all RPM, uh, what all RPMs are available here, so you can run a command. Just a moment. RPM hyphen QA, then uh, type in command grab, then VI. So if you type in this particular, so it will show you VI M minimal. VIM file system, VIM command, VIM enhanced and these sort of commands are installed with VIM editor. Fine. So if you want to check with Vim only, so you will find out this. If you want to check that what all commands are available. So yum list, pipe, grab and then type in Vim. So it will show you all the available commands of VIM. So it means if you want to in install this, yum install and just type here vim x11 so it will provide you all the packages and the particular command line tool which is required to execute gvim command it means graphical vim although i shall not be able to execute here because i'm working on cli mode only the gui is not available but if you want so gvim command is available for now cannot open display because I'm working on AWS server where I have not taken session in that fashion where I can get some GUI output using this. Okay. So now this is about that uh, type of VIM. So how many different versions of VIM do we have? Now let us talk about modes of VIM. So if we talk about modes. So when we are talking about mode of VIM, so VIM is not a usual editor or which can be easily learned, easily uh, understood. So you have to understand that there are three modes. First of all is command mode. Command mode. What is it? So the command mode is used to file navigation 
cut and paste and simply commands simple commands used like undo redo and other also performed this uh, like if you are going to cut copy and paste so you can do like let me show you some something here slash etc and maybe services is the file which i can open so see with with vim with, with vi if i open this so it's it so it, it does not show me in colorful mode but if you are going to talk about that you are going to work with vim and if you mention the same file name so it will open in colorful mode okay fine so if i want to delete something so i can press i i can press dd here for example if i go here and i want to remove this one so i can press dd command if i press dd two times so this will remove the particular line from here if i want to go for undo so i'll have to press u and that particular deleted line will come back so these sort of commands you can do you can uh, utilize within command mode fine wq it means you have to execute this command is in ex mode i am going to show you the, uh, tell you the second mode of this particular command so second mode is insert mode now what is insert mode <laughs> this mode is used for normal text editing or replacing uh, word or inserting new lines into your text file fine now what is third mode which is okay let me give you an example of the same file for example i want to mention something here i want to write for example this is new line added if i want so see when i log into this file let me quit here when i log into this file so it says that this is file name this the particular characters in the file number of lines in the file currently where i am and this is top of the file if i go to bottom so it will it will show bot it means bottom of the file so vim is quite expressive and you can check all the available stuff within vim okay for example if i need to go to line number 4 so i'll write here delimiter and after that whatever line number i want so i will i will jump onto that line currently my cursor is blinking here whether i can count or if i don't want to count so i can simply check out here it will show me that the particular word on what word i am on what character i am and what on what line number i am actually so this number this particular count will get increasing fine so when i am here this particular mode is known as command mode it means if i want to copy copy means y y it for example i press y y and i press p so it will copy and paste one line for me u for undo if i want like four like five files need to be copied and after that i want to paste it here so all the five lines which are copied from there are pasted here so y y for copy and p for paste fine if i want to undo so u is a command for that you can use u okay now this is example of command mode now what is insert mode so for going into insert mode there are multiple options multiple options are there for example you can press i i is the most favorite of people that at the particular point wherever you are like my cursor is blinking here so if i press i so i shall be uh, switch to insert mode with same location location will not be changed if i press a small a so it means it will jump me a character ahead for example if i press capital a so it will definitely it will uh, take me to insert mode but at the end of the line see example once more so if i want to go to beginning of line so i can press shift plus 6 it means caret sign if i press so i can so i can jump to beginning of the line now i want to go to insert mode once again but at the end of line so if i press capital a so it will take me to end of the line see this is the cursor if i want to go to beginning of line so shift plus 6 i will i will jump to that particular it may beginning of line but if you want okay then after if you want that uh, your cursor should move to start of current line for example i am here somewhere and i want that my i should be taken to insert mode but with beginning of line so i can press shift plus i it means capital i if i press caps i if i press so i will i, I will be taken to that particular mode fine 
now there is particular more uh, there is a particular command which is r it means r for replace that whatever i type in here so that will be replaced if i go for r capital r i will have to press i uh, let me undo it so whatever i type in here so if i start typing so that particular word will replace all the existing text so uh, capital r you can go in insert mode sorry in replacement mode okay let's do undo uh, okay then after if you press o o for this uh, next line with insert mode but below of the current line wherever currently you are okay for example you are here and okay let us come here for example you are at this line and you want to go in insert mode so you will be taken to insert mode but after or you can call it like below your cursor but if you want that you need to go to insert mode but above the line so you can press capital o so it will take you to insert mode with capital o option fine so these are couple of options which you can use to go to your insert mode so obviously if you are using vim with efficiency and you really want to use efficiency so you can follow these options because uh, within my coming video obviously obviously i'm going to prepare this video within two parts uh, maybe three because obviously we i am is really huge editor and uh, you should be working with quite with great efficiency reason being it can save your lots of time okay so there are couple of more options i would like to tell you first of all if you are working with your uh, vim editor so there there are couple of options here which i want to tell you okay first of all is your uh, edge it means it will take you down if you want to jump to your uh, like if you don't want to use your arrow key so you want to uh, you want you can use your h j k l option if you want if you use k so it will take you up if you use h it will take you before and if you use l it will take you to left of the word so h j k l are the short keys which you can use now if you want to go to uh, like end of the line so you can press dollar uh, dollar symbol if you want to go to beginning of line you can press the uh, caret symbol and if you want to go to top of the line so you can press capital g if you if you press and if you press gg so it will take you to top of the file fine so gg will take you to the uh, first line of the document and capital g will take you to the last of the line it means bottom of the file you can move on, move on to fine so that is it uh, this is it for this video guys and uh, finally if you want if you are in insert mode and want to go to maybe your escape mode your ex mode which is your last mode which i told you so the so last e mode is your uh, ex mode or you can call it execute mode so which is in general used for executing commands or where <laughs> you can uh, save and quit files so that is known as ex mode for going into ex mode what you need to do is so you need to go for either you can press escape key or if you are in insert mode you can press control and c so that both options will take you to ex mode here you can type in q if you want to trash all the changes whichever you have made or if you want to save your changes you can write in w and q and if you want that all the changes should be saved forcefully so you can write exclamation mark with that fine so this is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching have a good time happy learning from server gyan with the next video i'm going to explore uh, further options of vim command like how to search and how to replace pattern uh, how to search and replace text in your vim and all so if you have yet not subscribed to my channel please like share and subscribe thank you very much happy learning from server gyan take care